Well, hey everybody, welcome back to more fab fun at the Red Barn. And with the latch in place in the sill, I need to make a bracket for underneath to hold it down and a new rear panel to replace the one that's got the button in it with the trunk release. Here we go. Right now I want to finish up the trunk latch setup and get into a little more detail for you. I mentioned that I needed a little bracket because obviously this thing's just flapping around in the breeze. And it's got it's got one little fastener in here that's a five millimeter countersunk screw. So what I did is I just made up this little wacky angle bracket with a nut welded onto it. And then what I do with this bracket is, let's see if I can make this work. This bracket sits Bracket sits right like that. Okay, the bracket is on, and here's a, a peek down through. You can see, it just this guy just slides right down in there, and, and from the underneath, you can see, right, it welds to the chassis here, and it just spots on out here, and it perfectly locates that thing, and it is rock solid. Yeah, this is turning out just super. So there you go fastened on and this part is done <clears throat> all right with the latch now in there and I, I no longer need the button in the middle of that rear panel so i pulled the rear panel off that's what's clamped down to the bench here and i found some aluminum uh mesh i had used the same grill material what was in here before was the same grill material material that's on the 914 engine lid and that that matched but it's it's kind of dated looking, not very sexy, and it was, you know, just flat behind the, the, the panel, so it looked really kind of one-dimensional. So what I'm going to try is clamping this mesh to the grill, and then just taking uh, a swing at, pushing it down into the panel right at the corner. So I get this, the panel will actually, you know, the mesh panel will come down behind the frame, poke out just a teeny bit, just flush with the outside of the panel. But it should add a much more sort of done look to it. So I'm going to see what I can come up with. And I'm just going to try pound it. This is really flexible stuff. So I'm just going to try pounding this thing down through here. And you can see it stands right up. I think I'm doing it the wrong way. I think I need to clamp that down first. So maybe I can do the ends because they are clamped. Yeah, and that's working. I mean, it's just sitting down in there. All right, I think that's it. The nice thing is I can always come back and add more if I need to. So let's see how we did. Yeah, see that looks a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better poked through like that. You can see just a little bit of a curve in there and it adds all the difference and brings it up flush with this surface. So now you can just see what the panel looks like. Boop. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see it's just got the slightest little bump up to it. But I think that's gonna be cool. And I also think I'm gonna paint it black because I think if this disappeared a little bit more, it would be even cooler, but I like that a lot. So this is going to be the next version, and I'll run around like with it like this for a while and see how I like it. Let me cut a new panel and make up the other side, and we'll get this riveted on. All right, and then a little uh, SEM trim black later, and... Uh, We've got a different looking grill, completely different looking. So it's really hard to see on camera, I bet, but that little push through adds some dimensionality to the look that is way more sophisticated than what it used to be like. And yeah, these are still just the temporary rivets until it gets painted. Uh, and yes, I narrowed that up and yes, you can see through it and see the backside of the latch. And yes, you could stick a screwdriver in there and open the trunk. 
Uh, so that'll get a block off plate from behind and then that'll all get painted black. So you won't be, you'll just see a, a black, you know, kind of a black stand in there, if you will. Um, but yeah, that looks way more elegant. And then again, this is the piece that, this is the piece that came out and you know, you can see it's just, it's really one dimensional. It's just a stamped flat, you know, same as the engine lid, which was a nice match, but you know, you really didn't notice it, you know, in terms of tying, you know, couldn't, you can see them at the same time, kind of, but I like this look better. And I'll probably do something different with the engine grill before all said and done anyway. But there you go. That's the update. And again, you can see no button. And then, oh, somebody wanted to see the cable setup. Uh, it's not very exciting. You know, the cable, it's just like a bicycle cable. It runs into here. Um... It's loose right now, which is what I mentioned earlier about wanting to have something that takes out the slack. And then I'll zip tie it to a couple places. But the cable, let me just, oh, that's so cool. The cable just runs through the car. I just put a hole in the chassis right there and stuck a screwdriver, big screwdriver in it and gave it a twist so that the cable lays flat. And again, it hasn't been completely secured, but it just runs back down. Uh, it'll, it, it's gonna follow the wiring harness and it tucks back in and then it runs through this little bulkhead and then out to this cable and uh, this is the adjuster but it's the wrong size and the cable runs all the way through it so i got to get a different cable end so that this thing when it adjusts back can put some pretension in this and i still haven't trimmed this cable up or anything but there it is uh not too exciting but it really works well and i love it it's funny as i was working on the car today and um let me just get this back together as I was working on the car with this panel, I kept going to push the the trunk button, which I'm used to, and you realize, oh no, I got to go back around and use the actual latch. So it may not as, may not be as convenient for fabrication, but uh, I really like the way it looks. So that's it for the Ferrari and the 914 door sill trunk release and the new panel. So hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you again next time here at the Red Barn. Take care, everybody.